I thought I'd make a video and show you all the stuff you're getting since we got a couple days. So I'll start out with the seats. So these are the two kind of butt, fat butt seats, right? These are the comfy seats um, that came with the boat. So you'll get both of those. I'll put them in the pedestals before we put the cover on. And then you mentioned you wanted my, my bike seat. So that's the bike seat there. It's got a pro pole so you can adjust the height and so forth on it. Um, so that's that'll be the three seats that'll come in the boat. I'll probably put one, the, this big seat, I'll probably put it in one of the compartments. So, and then in this bag, you're gonna see two spray paint cans. So this is the color of the panels on the inside of the boat. Uh, I repainted them a year or so ago. So they look like new and I had some extra paint. So I'll uh, include that with the boat uh, in case you need it ever. So. I'm gonna send this tub in the boat um, with anything that, that might be useful for you. So this is a caddy that I used in there, just a cup holder and so forth. You can put a little grease on there and then it's a sea sucker and it sucks down. So you got some place for your tools, your scissors and whatever drinks or whatever you'll have in there. So this is a, either a shifter or a throttle cable that I bought. Uh, I figured somebody may not want the hot foot. So if they decide to switch over, while they're doing it, they might as well put a new cable in. So I'm gonna include this with you because I don't really have a use for it anymore. Okay. So this is a flush muff for the motor. I'm sending it because I got it, but I, it doesn't really work that well. They kind of suck. Um, so you probably want to get either a tub or just run it on the, the hose fitting itself. Um, I have an extra seat pole in here. Uh, this goes with, with one of the seats. Uh, that seat has the upgraded adjustable pole. So this is the factory pole that came with it, um, should you need it. You got your nav light will be in here. So this is your front nav light. It's got a little button for the white light and you got the two just sticks down in the front of the boat uh, if you're running after hours. Um, these are additional fender clips. So I added those fender cleats to the boat. I'm gonna send you with the fenders in the boat that already have the clips on it, but if you need to lose one or whatever, here's some extra uh, clips for it. This is a shorter steering wheel extension. I have a long extension on there now. Uh, depends if you ever wanted to move the steering wheel or whatever, I figured I'd send it with you. Um, this is the box the Fusion came in. There's a little bit of paperwork or something in there, uh, but I'm sending it with you. Uh, got manuals for some of the the depth finders in here you know, i've got an extra uh piece of fuel hose for the motor um this is a a rigging sleeve for it i was going to get real fancy at one point and uh put that rigging sleeve on there so it looked really fancy but being i decided to sell the boat i didn't want to get in there and mess with all that in case there was some kind of issues i didn't want to send you Send you down the road with a boat that wasn't reliable. But if you decide in the future you want to have that done, you can do it yourself or have somebody do it. This just goes over the rigging tube. Right now the uh, bulb is in the way, so you have to relocate the bulb. But this is an extra Yamaha OEM fuel line if you need it. Um, got a bottle of Yama Lube. Put this in your fuel. Uh, helps carbon and uh, ethanol issues. <coughs> This is the original thumb screw that came in the boat uh, on the trolling motor. Doesn't fit with that ghost, but uh, if you ever use a different trolling motor, you got that. You got an extra handle. This is one of the interior handles. Uh, when I replaced those panels, I thought there were four handles, so I ordered four. There's actually only three because by the driver, there's the controls, there's no handle. So you got an extra handle here. This is Yamaha fuel filter tool. So the onboard fuel filter, uh, this is the OEM Yamaha tool to change that if you do your own maintenance. Um, you got Yamaha grease, uh, grease your trim rams, uh, really probably the only spot you need to put this. Owner manual for Yamaha boat motor, not very useful, but it it's, goes with the motor. Just the owner's manual for the control binnacle. This is your Sea Star steering. Uh, 
owner's manual and then I'm sending you with a service manual so this is actually not the service manual for the new motor is for the older 2012 motor I had uh, so be aware of that but it is uh, not a whole lot's changed in the motor some of the charging system and so forth has but there's still a lot of good info on here and how to do maintenance and so forth that might be useful for you so I'll send that with you these two straps what these are for is if you're uh, going down the road and you don't have the boat cover on uh, you put these around the uh, the depth finder covers so the covers don't fly off um, uh, I'll probably put them on the boat before it goes your way, so they probably won't be in this in this container. But I just got these at Walmart. They sell products for it, but I found these things at Walmart and they work fine. So this is the strap for the ghost, the safety strap. I don't use the safety strap and I find it gets in the way. Uh, so I never installed it. What I'll do is I'll probably zip tie down the trolling motor since you're going a long way. Uh, and I'm kind of risk adverse, but uh, if you decide you want to put the safety strap on, this is it. It just feeds up underneath the trolling motor, uh, and you can strap it down uh, in case you think it's going to come loose. I've never had an issue with it, but here it is in case you need it. These are uh, cotter pins for the prop. Uh, two bags of Yamaha OEM cotter pins right here. Um, in case you need to take your prop off or whatever and you end up messing it up, uh, you got two cotter pins. here under this blanket we've got the prop that came on the boat it's a three blade Yamaha 21 pitch uh, it'll be coming with you it's got a spacer in there um, in case you decide to use it thanks